Well, Chad, it took me a minute, longer than I wanted to, because I didn't get to it before the stream, but I think I have our roadmap for what we're doing, who we have to trade. We got to get rid of some contracts to be able to sign cap whales and all that fun stuff. But I do have kind of the outlook for what our team is going to be. Uh, goalie wise, nothing changes for the moment. We're going to have to sign a cap whale, uh, but nothing changes there aside from like we could trade Smoskovic if we wanted to. Um, yeah, I'll probably just throw him into a trade here. Actually, why not? Uh, defensively, we didn't actually have to trade anybody, which is nice. Um, we do have to, we are going to sign Logan Stanley for the hell of it, even though that potential is not that great. Or are we? Or are we? Maybe we're not. Maybe we'll just deal him too. Why not? We're going to sign someone for veteran depth, but we're going to move on from Logan Stanley. We're going to move on from Nick Badan. Cash out on those two, even though we basically just got them, but they're not not very good. We don't want to get rid of an outvalue. And then we have a million bajillion wingers to get rid of because, of course, we do. Uh, the first is actually going to be Connor Brown, who is okay, but is never going to be amazing for us. Connor Brown's got to go. As well, despite the potential, Andre Kasha. I like that he has the potential, but his trade value isn't that great, which makes me think just in general, he's not going to be that great. So I feel like he's probably a good uh, option to get rid of to cash out on right now. And uh, ha, to Kasha out on right now. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. This is the level of, of content that you're getting. So be warned. Uh, Buffalo, 40 contracts. Right. Can I just get a, a big combination of draft picks? Um, can I get more than two seconds? That's looking about even. All right, we might even be able to get like a second and a third on this deal. Is Moscow with Stanley, Padan, Brown, and Kasha for a second and a third? No. What about just a second? Well, it looks like the values are even. How about a third? Cool. Cool. So that was Smoskowitz, Stanley, Badan. Uh, God, why can't I find them on the list? Did I already cross their names out? I did. I did. We're fine. We're good. That's trade one of 17 billion. So buckle up. Buckle up. Oh, let's see. Right wing side. Cliff Poo. You gotta go. Philip Hlopik. You... No, you survived. You survived. You survived. Uh, goodness. 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 I guess we have a lot of centers. Left wing side. Pool party. You gotta go. Again, um... Medium AHL top six, but has that trade value, which means he's either going to work out or we're cashing out at the perfect time. I'm not sure which is true. We'll find out. Um, Pelletier, somebody I'm a little bit worried about trading away, but we are indeed going to move on from you. Uh, totally Spanish. For obvious reasons, Joel Kiviranta has to go. As does Brandon Hagel. Just to make room for people. Uh, Buffalo, again, would be a good landing spot. How about your... Oh, it's because they don't want to trade their second. Anybody else with a bunch of... Oh, 39 contracts for Edmonton. Your second round pick. Your fourth, your fifth, your sixth, your seventh. Thank you very much, Edmonton. We probably got robbed on that deal, but that's okay. I mean... It is what it is. We might have been able to get a low end first, but limited options of where we can trade people right now. Um, just due to team's roster spots. Left wing side. Uh, let's see. Devin. Devin. You gotta go. Orlando Devin. For obvious reasons. Uh, Rupert. Kyle Rupert. You're out of here. Hickey. 
is out of here. Nathan Horton is going to stay um, just as a cap whale, basically, because of that contract. And I doubt, no, I basically doubt that there will be takers. No team is going to want that cap hit. And then for the centers, Nikita Korostelev, who again has that kind of amplified value, even though he shouldn't. Um, who else? Philp. Oh, Luke Philp, who again might develop, but we got to prioritize people of higher potentials, higher values. Uh, anybody want these two players? What about Los Angeles? Los Angeles. I doubt I get the first. Can I get the second, third, fourth, fifth? Maybe even a sixth. Quite far off in value. Take out a fourth. Take out a fifth. Take out a sixth. Son of a bitch. Take out a third. There we go. All right. Well, multiple. Oh, that's right. I. There were a couple of these guys that I signed and then I'm immediately trading, so the game's going to get very, very mad at me for that, but get mad, Bish, because we're doing it. Because we are doing it. Clark Bishop, you gotta go. Oscar Steen. Myers. The Pez Dispenser. Michael Pizzetta. And Ferguson. You are the next ones to go. Only one of you has a contract. Islanders. I got a, I got a second and a handful of picks. How about a second and lesser picks. How about just a second? Shout out to the Pink Ninja, thirty-four months on the primer. Unbelievable. How the heck are you? Second round pick from the Blues. Again, we probably. Could have gotten more, but it's fine. Just people got to go. We're still not done getting rid of the dead weight on this team. Despite all the players we've already traded away. LeBlanc's got to go. Garcia's got to go. Salinatri's got to go. Langdon has to go. Johnstone has to go. None of you are under contract. And I got a third from Tampa. Cool. They're going to be cheering in the streets. I bet. And last but not with the least, Yanni Cook. And actually, you know what? In fairness, we can get rid of those three because they're all terrible in terms of potential. Sutter can go too. Um, none of you are under contract. Let's try Boston for the hell of it. So this can bite me in the ass down the road. No second round pick. Third round pick. Fourth round pick. There we go. Third round pick. Nah, man, that's too much. Fourth round pick. Oh, dude, I just robbed you blind. You suck. Cool. Cool. I'm glad there's no uh there's no in-between whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, free agents. James Van Reemsdijk is out there, as is Tyler Bozak, but. I mean, I say there's no room for JVR. There is, but there isn't. There really isn't room for JVR. Because there's nobody on the NHL roster that I want to drop down. Um, so we're actually not going to do that. Defensively. Defensively. Guess we're going to go for Andre Mazaros. I didn't think I'd have to rely on Andre Mazaros at any point, but here we are. Give you a bunch of money and we'll give uh we'll give Kevin Miller some money as well. Mills, what's up? How are you tonight? Let's give Kevin Miller some money as well. Monkus. Sweet, beautiful Monkus. How was Bluey the video game? <laughs> I saw that's what you were streaming. How the heck was it?
I hope it was everything you wanted it to be. All right, let's see. Okay, we need two more players, and then we are about good to go. 100% completed in three and a half hours. All achievements. <laughs> you 100%ed Bluey the video game. In the name of charity, no less. I commend you, sir. That's uh, that's a better meme than anything I could come up with. Sheesh. I would have done it even if it wasn't charity. You know, fair. Fair enough. I respect it. I respect it. All right. Johnny Oduya. Johnny Oduya now. We need to sign you. And then we need a fifth goal. Ten room. We're good to go. Very short game, though, for an adult fan of the show. Well, yeah, because I imagine it's marketed towards the children, Monk. <laughs> Did you go into playing the game saying, ah, yes, the Red Dead Redemption 2 of children's IPs. I'm going to put 600 hours into this game like Steve Dangle. <laughs> the hell are you expecting? Oh, man. All right. Who do we want to sign? Hamburglar? Matt O'Connor. It's less broken than the NHL 24. Mm. Let's go for the Hamburglar. We gotta give the Burglar some money here. Again, I was talking about it before we really kind of got going with this, though. Like, NHL 24. I just, I want, I miss roster editing. <laughs> I miss it so much. I just want franchise, I want the juice to be worth the squeeze, and I just don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Oh, God. All right, there we go. I think we finally have this roster almost set up, at least personnel-wise. Now we got to decide where the hell people are going. Uh, so we're going to call up the Hamburglar. We are going to call up McBride. After sending down Carter Hart, who again we signed as a free agent, which is hilarious. Lots of adult fans of the show will buy it, no question, but for $40, not sure they should. I mean, I'm guessing the game just came out then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I waited in line at GameStop to get Bluey, day one. Two, three, four, five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Riley, uh, Valiev. Forsling, you are not expected to be on this team. We are looking for Andre Mazar, son of a bitch. Send down Corbin. The fact they got rid of the swap option. No, they didn't. They got rid of the swap option, but not the multi-select. And I really like the swap option for the prior games. But Mazaros, Nielsen, and Kevin Miller will send down Gustav Forsling. And then for the forwards, Sutter stays, Horton goes down, uh, Hropic also goes down. There we go. I was the 16th person to 100% the game on true achievements. <laughs> but you weren't number one, like Smitty. Let's see, Riley and Griffin, Mazzaro, Simvaliev, Nielsen, Miller, Orpik. Good. Good, in air quotes. So for the forwards, it can't all be as good as them. It's true. We got Matthews, Kane, Kadri, Gautier, Panarin. I'm missing Howden and Timoshoff. Sutter was going to be on the roster. Girardi Foster goes down. Locke stays. Dubois. There we go. I think... There we go. We got our numbers. So let's see what we got from there. If we go best lines. Girardi is a fourth line grinder. Sutter's a fourth line grinder. It scratches Jen's lock, which I'm not too pumped about. High bottom six Sutter. Lock has to be in as a medium elite over Sutter. Hate to say it, but that is a change that has to happen. Sutter should be a really good 13th forward, though. Who the hell is the fourth? Look at this team. 
Again, we got a Vander Kane on an absolute steal. Otherwise, I'd sign JVR. Who the hell is my fourth line center going to be? Shit. I mean, in terms of somebody not developing, it would make sense for it to be Nas. Which is kind of scary. I mean, Nazem Kadri on a physical fourth line would work out pretty well. If we look at potential from there, Panarin, Kane. I mean, obviously Kadri's a second line forward, so he's going to be pretty pissed. Technically, it could be Brett Howden, but man, he's a high elite. Makes sense to play Austin and Evander on the top line so they don't get mad. Austin, for obvious reasons, he's still developing. But Evander, just so that we can eventually trade him and, you know, do really well on that particular deal. I feel like it's got to be Nassim Kadri. I think for Nas, he's going to be he's going to be down. But yeah, we'll give him the power play time. So. Happening, Howden, Timoshoff. Those guys have crazy potentials at high elite. They have to be on the second line. So we could go with Dubois, Gautier, Kapanen on the third line. Panarin, Howden, Timoshoff, some sort of combination. I think that's it. And the team does look really good. If we look here, 94 body checking for this guy. So we'd go with Locke, Kadri, Girardi. He's got the best face-offs here. We'd go Kapanen, Dubois, Gautier. Panarin, Howden, Timoshoff. And then Kane, Matthews, Nylander. It's not bad. Defense leaves a little bit to be desired. Um... I think we put Riley with Nielsen to try to get Nielsen to develop, and then Reinhardt with Valiev. Just so our two better defensemen are with the younger guys that we're trying to develop. And then the third pair is just filler. And then McBride and Bergvik as the goalies, which is okay. It's not amazing. But I think that's what we're looking at here. So if we take a look... Let's see. So we have Sutter as a scratch. He's currently listed as a right wing, to be honest. Um, we can switch him back to a center. So it might be tempted to play him there if someone gets hurt and we go best lines. Evander Kane. Listed as a sniper. I mean, he definitely, you see, four and a half star physical. He, he fits the bill as a power forward, for sure. Uh, Austin as a sniper. Makes quite a bit of sense. Again, he could be a two-way. And then Nylander, definitely a playmaker. So we'll leave Austin and uh, Willie as they are. Let's see, Artemi Panarin. Sniper, playmaker, two-way, for God's sakes. Brett Howden. Sniper, two-way, could maybe... Dude, he's an insane skater. He turned into Connor McDavid. <laughs> Christ. And then Dimitro Timoshoff. Could definitely be the playmaker of the line. Howden's got the physicality. He just doesn't have the aggressiveness. But you know what? Let's let's try it. So I have Panarin as the sniper. We'll have Howden. It's more of a get-to-the-net power forward type. And then Dimitro Timoshoff will still be the playmaker of the line. Third line is Kapanen, who could be a two-way. Dubois, who is a two-way, but probably shouldn't be. He can be a power forward. He can be a playmaker. He can be a sniper. He looks awesome. And then Freddy Gauthier, who we are still trying to train up as a power forward, but you know, you're talking two-way, center, or two-way, a uh, power forward. He is a center. Won't be anymore. Hmm. I 
feel like we could go with another skill line. So, Kapanen can be a left wing. Run PLD as the sniper. And run Gautier as the power forward. Just three skill lines. And then... We'll run Jens Lock as a two-way. We'll run Kadri at center again, which again, he was a natural center, but this was the era where you could change player types and positions if you wanted to. Because fun. Girardi really should stay as a grinder. He's got that great physicality. Honestly? Those fourth liners be physical. Defense. Morgan Riley as an OFD makes all the sense in the world. Although he could be a he could be anything, really. Uh, Andrew Nielsen was an OFD for the AHL, is no longer an OFD. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need Nielsen to run as a DFD for this season. Just focus on not giving up goals. Again, an insane skater. Uh Griffin Reinhardt. Two-way OFD. We're not Valiev. He's definitely going to be a DFD again. So Griff will run as an OFD. We'll have Valiev as a DFD. And then Andre Mazaros can run as a two way. That's fine. Um, Kevin Miller. 80 fighting skill for Kevin Miller. That's just disrespectful. He could say as a DFD. That's fine. Orpec was already a DFD. Everything else except for Bergvik being changed to a hybrid looks good. The AHL. Let's go best lines there. So what we need is to take out John Kurtz for Alex DeBrinkitz. And we got to take Brady Vale out. Oh, there was actually one guy who was supposed to be here that's in the... Uh, that went back to Junior instead. So we actually miscounted. Okay. That's not too big of a deal. We could sign somebody, but <laughs> play JVR in the AHL. Um, so for the moment... We want Krisky, Kachuk. Oh, you know what it is? I didn't sign them yet. That's what it was. Back over to contracts. View contracts. Unsigned. Callie Erickson. Philip Zadina. And Christian Veselainen. Those were the three. Bring them in. I mean, it is true that Kevin Miller Falcon punched a man into oblivion. That is correct. All right, let's get Erickson in there. Horton can be out for Veselinen. And then somebody has to sit for Philip Zadina. Oh, 09 for Shalopic. Probably medium bottom six, Jesse Gabrielle. Yeah. Sorry to Mr. Gabrielle. But we need Zadina in there. So that is the forward core. And we just got to sort by potential. Low. Uh, what is up with Mitch Marner? Either that or we sort by overall, really. Um. Because otherwise, if we sort by potential, Mitch Marner is going way down the order. Like, way down the order. Get Thomas Foster on that higher line. And we'll drop Krisky down, so that's not too bad. But yeah, Zadina's only a 52 out of the gates, which is a little bit concerning, if we're being honest. 
Uh, so let's see. We'll go Marner, Foster, Kachuk. Oh boy. Grunstrom, Janssen, Schlappick. Line A, Krisky, Veselainen. And then Zadina, Erickson, and Debrinkit. That's not too bad. Uh, so let's see. Marner listed as a playmaker. It's pretty appropriate. Thomas Foster really should be a two-way. I mean, that's what he's the best at. I mean, it has Kachuk as a two-way with 71 aggressive, aggressiveness, aggression, which is hilarious. All right, we do got to change some things around here. So Marner's fine. Foster will try as a sniper. We got to try to train up Kachuk as a power forward, right? We have to. Uh, Grundstrom. Could be whatever. Janssen is the playmaker. Klopik has the sniper. That honestly works out perfect. Line A. Chuck to Enforcer, right? We go with the third skill line. We'll get Line A. Try to go as a sniper. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with line A. It's more of a power forward. Krisky's fine. And then Veselainen. We're going to need to change him up a little bit. And we have Zadina. Callie Erickson. And Alex Debrinkitz. See what we got from there. The defense. Uh, we had it listed as Forsling, Spencer, Boriman, Corbin. Is that medium bottom six Patrick line? It sure is. Chernock needs to come in. So in terms of whatever, I mean, we can figure it out. Forsling, really good passing, not very good offensive awareness. He can be a two-way or an OFD. Spencer is pretty similar. Two-way, two-way. Borman can be an OFD. We're going to train a change Corbin to a two-way. Chernock should probably be a DFD. Sammy Niku can stay as a two-way. And for the goalies, Kata Hat, Liam Herbst, looking good. I knew this would take a while to get this team in order and in, uh, into working tip-top shape. We're almost there. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, so let's see. For the defense, Eddie Corbin. You will be better suited as a two-way. And Eric Chernock as a defensive defenseman. Uh, let's see. Line A. Good old god-awful Patrick Line A. Go ahead and move him over. What else do we have? Marner was fine. Matthew Kachuk. Again, the fact that he's a two-way by default is hilarious to me. At least I think he was a two-way by default. Because this is his first year on the roster, so I don't see when I would have changed him. Trying to get Veselainen going as a sniper. Let's see, we got Zadina. We're going to put on the wing. Only a 52, but hopefully being in the AHL will kind of... Amplify his developments. Callie Erickson. Alex Dibrinkitz. Um, again, two way forward, Alex Dibrinkit for the moment, but we're getting a valuable PK time. And then Thomas Foster. Change you up as a sniper. In the NHL. 
Uh, we want to make Frederick Bergvik not a butterfly goaltender. Will it do anything? Who knows? I hope. All I can do is hope. Uh, let's see. Andrew Nielsen. And his amazing hair. DFD. Griffin Reinhardt. When this reality isn't a draft bus. OFD. And Renat Valiev. A difty. There we go. Uh, right wing side. Nylander's fine. Kadri. Our captain. At least he was at the end of last season. <laughs> Might still be our captain, even though he's going to be on the fourth line. Uh, Sutter. I'm going to move you back to center. Let's see. Evander Kane. Really needs to be a power forward. Uh, Panarin, Timoshov. We got to move you to the right. Actually, let's go back over here because Kasperi Kapanen, who did kind of cap out where he is, but that's okay. He's better than we ever thought he would be. Frederick Gautier. Gonna go right wing side for you. Mr. Howden has made the team first year of his ELC. He's an 85, which is insane. We'll have PLD move forward as a sniper, and Jen's lock will go left wing grinder. Sweet. Okay. So let's get what should be a pretty well finalized look at this team. Since these were going to be the lines, we'll take a quick little quick little set of screenshots just so that we know where to put everybody. Uh, but let's go best lines. So it does go Kane, Matthews, Nylander, Panarin, Howden, and Tim Shav. Kapanen, Dubois, and Gautier. So that's a problem. Get Sutter out of there. And that leaves Locke, Kadri, and Girardi. That center depth is pretty outrageous, though. Not bad. Defense is Riley and Nielsen, Reinhardt, Renat Valiev, Mazaros, and Kevin Miller. The goalies again will be McBride and Bergvik to start the year. That might be a playoff team. Or they might be complete trash garbage. I'm not sure yet. Pretty much there won't be an in-between. It's either they'll actually be good or they'll be pretty damn bad. So we will see what happens. Uh, so again, we go best lines. It is Marner. Foster and Kachuk. We need Grundstrom. Andreas Janssen, Philip Schlopik. Line A, Kriski, Veselainen. Gabrielle will be out for Debrinkets. Brady Vale will be out for Callie Erickson. And Nathan Horton will sit for Philip Zadina. Not a bad AHL team at all either. Defense is Gustav Forsling and Matt Spencer. We'll go with Boriman and Corbin, Chernak, and Niku. We haven't had a single team make the playoffs yet. This should be the year that that changes. Should be. Can't guarantee anything. Uh, for the AHL... Who do we want being the leadership group in the AHL? Who do we want? More time for this song to start playing. Um, I think pretty clearly Captain Mitch. Captain Mitch. We'll give a letter to Line A and a letter to Matt Spencer. 
Johnny Oduya's pissed. Joke's on you, buddy. I didn't name you captain in the first place. Nazem Kadri is still our captain. Morgan Riley with a letter. And uh, again, we'll take the letter off of Panarin and give it to Austin Matthews. There it is. So our Tammy Panarin will now be mad at me. Because that was this era of the game. Every little thing you do, somehow, some way, will piss something or piss someone off. It's a great value uh, and lesson to learn for life. No matter what you do, you will somehow piss somebody off. Yeah, even you, Jeff. Jesus.